Welcome everyone to the Sunday edition of I Love Stocks and I have my great friend at Breakout Place joining me today. He's out in the UK. He's a great follow on Twitter, guys. He's got 20 years of trading experience of both options and equity. Such a great person. Very, very underfollowed, guys. Let's get this man up to 5,000 followers. Please follow him on Twitter. So I'm going to bring Breakout Plays online here. He's out in the UK, so I appreciate him joining me today. And he's going to talk about one of his picks today and tell us why he likes it and what's going on. Over to you, Breakout Place. Welcome. Hey, Vegas. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, as you mentioned, I'm based in the UK, but I trade the US markets. Um, I'm a primarily an options trader, but I trade equity as well. If anyone's interested in following me, guys, I put content out on Twitter. My handle is Breakout Plays One. So be sure to give me a follow if you want to follow me for any plays or my thoughts on the market. So yeah, Vegas, as I mentioned, um, this week, going into this week, I like SQ. They had earnings last week. This play is purely based on the price action. What I like about this is SQ broke out of this wedge. Like I said, we had earnings last week. We fell from this wedge and we held this bottom of the falling wedge. And then we uh, reclaimed back up. What I, what I really like about this is it's closed this armor out on Friday. So coming into this week, because uh, we had some buy-in back up to create this armor on Friday, I'll be looking for this to break the 78.10 area. And if we do that, my targets for this play will be 81 and 82.70. But the important thing to watch here, guys, if you are going to take this trade, is watch this 79.40 area, because this will be the retest of the daily uptrend area, and we can fail you. So first protocol, if anyone's looking to play SQ this week, is wait for to break that 78.10 area to clear this armor, and then watch that 79.40 area on the retest. And then we have the targets of 81 and 82.70. You know, I, I really like these uh, follow wedge breakouts, and what we like to call in my community as X support, because when, when these moves break out, they really are powerful moves. So I can see this hitting all these targets this week if the market got the right environment. Um, I love the stock technically. I like the way the earnings look last week. You know, some people may have uh, frowned upon it, but the, the numbers I've seen and things I went over, you know, I, I just really like where the company is going. It's always going to be volatile, you know, with Bitcoin and things and the volatility in Bitcoin. But this play, like I said, is purely based on price action. And going into this week, I really like it. So um, that's my play for the week, Vegas. That's what I'll be keeping a close eye on. What about yourself? I know you're watching Tesla. I know they've got yeah. an investors there I mean, on March 1st, which will be a close watch for us both. Uh, what, what's your thoughts on Tesla? What do you think? So, you're going to watch? so I'm yeah. So I'm going to talk to you about Tesla, but before we go over that, just really quick. So for your square, because I really like the fact that um, this is a great fintech company. I think longer term, uh, they talk about how their profit retention with their cash up and square will be above a hundred percent. That is just insane information i think square is a great hold if you like fintech stocks um definitely uh i read evercore upgraded shares to of the in line from underperform based on their new commitment to boost financial discipline as well for the longer term so where would be um can you just reconfirm the spot you're looking at on square for a potential move to the upside yeah i mean as you said long term company wise so i believe it's a good investment going forward you know th this setup going into next week is, is purely based off the price action what i'm looking for to day trade which, okay. is, which is important to remember as well guys I, i'm looking to day trade this with options but yeah going forward I, I love the company i think it's a solid company and i you know i i think his growth speaks for itself and it's going to continue to grow but for uh a day trade next week you know depending on what type of trader you are and now you're looking to play this you know if, if you're day trading there you want to be waiting for that 78 10 area to go because i want to clear the top of this armor and break this daily downtrend before i enter any position on uh sq i'll be playing with options so any sort of retest would be welcomed you know i want to see some sort of older some strength above this level and then watch these watching these areas on the way up so again it depends what type of trader you are whether you're looking to swing this through the week or whether you're looking to day trade or momentum but the the main thing is you want to make sure that the market is moving in the right direction 
the the sector is strong and we hopefully we get an overall push in the market so that's what i'll be looking for this week so yeah i'll, I'll be taking calls on sq if we can clear and hold the 78 10 area okay well thank you so much for doing that i really appreciate you sharing uh square is one of your picks this week and again please follow breakout plays one on uh, twitter because you know what he's under followed and uh he sh needs more followers so please everyone subscribe to his twitter feed so i'm going to talk to you guys about tesla i mean look at the cyber truck people having a barbecue on a tesla cyber truck i mean that is ugly i mean honestly i would never drive that truck um but listen people love the truck they have orders on here i know people that have bought them years ago still waiting for their cyber truck and they can't wait to get it so i mean there's a big market for this i mean look at these atvs being hauled in the back i mean here's the interior uh it looks like a spaceship in there look at that steering wheel it's just crazy crazy tesla uh so what's crazy about tesla is you guys know that the stock is very volatile and uh, i'll show you this chart here on tesla and uh, you could see here that we've had some really nice consolidation here. Got a lot of momentum squeezing going up here. Tesla, look at this here. Uh, in the past, back in January, how high it went. This is just crazy price action. And, uh, you know, this is back in earlier this year. Last year was a crazy price. But look at now Tesla here uh, heading towards the over that 200 level. So one of the things we need to watch with Tesla, because we have Investor's Day here. Let me just share this tab here. So you could see our investors day scheduled for March 1st. Now this is going to be live streamed from the Giga factory in Texas. And uh, everyone's going to have, we're going to have a lot of pre presenters there, a lot of people from the senior executive team. And I think what's going to be really important to watch with Tesla is what are the commentary that's going to be said from the management team, especially with regards to their expansion plans. Um, we heard about the, division up in california recently and um he was out there talking with uh newsome and then we have also we want to hear about um capital allocation but the other thing we want to hear about is any kind of share buyback because you know we know that elon's sold a lot of stock in the past mm -hmm. to buy the most um uh, crazy company twitter and uh, it is the most biggest nonprofit company ever in history. And he did say, you know, I bought the biggest nonprofit company in the world. And he's right. Uh, so with him uh, selling so much stock, um, is he have plans to do share buybacks? So that's will be a really interesting catalyst for the market. So what's going to be really important to watch here with Tesla as well is we want to see if the stock can break 210. Okay, this will be a really important level if it breaks 210. So if you're listening to the show, write down that level write it down okay so if it breaks 210 you could see a move to the upside towards 218. now this is where it can get really crazy but if it breaks 218 it could go to 225 235 237 240. so we really want to see 210 go but really the crazy spot is 218. so that is going to be an area to watch everyone's going to be their eyes on tesla there could be, again, hype on the stock going into the event. And just remember, sometimes this Tesla event becomes a non-event. Like everyone's hyped up and then they're like disappointed because there was nothing special talked about, nothing that like wowed them at the event that made the stock react to the upside. So, you know, remember, it's just a catalyst. It's not guaranteed that the stock has plans to go over 210. Uh, it's going to be based on what they say and how does the market respond. So I hope it does have some good commentary and I'd love to see the break of 210. And then we'd love to see this get to 218 and then break out and head towards 225, 235. And this beautiful, I'd love to see 240 come my way. So I love trading the Tesla stock. Sometimes I hate it because um from an options angle uh taken some serious losses on tesla in the past and uh it's been a rough week trading it but you know what uh every week's a new week and i do have some auction calls in play already for tesla for this week uh, expiring march 3rd i will go long though if it breaks 210 i will add contracts with more time on them uh for, for the long term so either march or june 2023 expiry but these will be monthlies 
Um, but I have not, I don't have anything further out right now until I see it break 210. Mr. Breakout Plays, what are your thoughts on my, my commentary for, for Tesla? Oh, yeah. I absolutely agree, Vegas. I mean, you know, Tesla is in the spot, uh, as you mentioned previously, where it's consolidating nice and it seems price-wise action is it's getting ready for a big move up. And I agree with where you were looking to enter on Tesla. I think, you know, hopefully this Investors Day on March 1st will be the catalyst to take it higher. But, you know, as we all know, it's, it's a very volatile stock. It doesn't take a lot of news to move this thing anyway. So whether, whether the Investors Day is going to be the catalyst or not, I, I just believe that this chart is, you know, prime for a big move soon anyway. And I 100% agree on the areas you're watching. I think mm -hmm. as long as the stock holds up here, that we are going to see a push upside uh, in the coming weeks. And the, and the great thing about Tesla is, as we spoke about earlier, you know, that can do these moves in a day. It, it only needs the right catalyst or the right bit of news to push this thing. And it, it could literally reach you a target in, in one trading session. <laughs> That's the beauty of trading uh, Tesla when, it, when you're on the right side of it. So, yes. Yeah, That's a, right. It's exciting to see which way it goes on Wednesday. But as you mentioned, you know, even if it is a non-event come Wednesday, it's going to be interesting to see purely off these charts if we are going to get an upside move, which I believe if we do all, I mean, uh, w w you know, you mentioned earlier, Vegas, about the area you're not interested in. You know, where does Tesla need to break for you to see Tesla go in bearish, which you won't be interested in upside? Oh, yeah. So for me, honestly, like if Tesla goes under 190, that's going to be a red flag. But really, the, the line in the sand is going to be 187. If it really gets under that, it's going to go much lower. So I would hate to see that happen for the stock. I mean, I think, I think people will find it that even if it did go down and bears were on this, uh, probably the bulls that love Tesla or long-term holders of Tesla, they're going to look at that as a buying opportunity probably, uh, especially if their uh, longer time frame is years, years, years down the road. And so they'll, you know, if it does go there, some people will love it because they're going to want to build the position, but the bears will be feasting for sure. If it gets under 187, not going to look too pretty at all. Oh, I agree. hundred <clears throat> percent. And that's another thing to keep in mind as well. You know, don't predict guys just react where it goes, but obviously watch Vegas's levels. Make sure if it, if it breaks out that you end and buy in any holes, especially with a lot uh, short term expiry, because you will get killed on Tesla. It's a very volatile stock. And it can take mm -hmm. you <laughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah. Tesla is a make or break, you know. So I love to make it and not break it. We love to crush the shorts and see shorts get destroyed in Tesla. So they're shorting the stock. I'd love I'd love them to get crushed because uh, I love, you know, it's just we just have fun in games with it. But listen, if I, we have to be a bear, trust me, we'll switch gears and we'll become a bear, too, because uh, we're not going to sit here and watch our contracts crush to the downside if we're bullish. Uh, we're gonna have to switch sides and become a bear so we're happy to become a bear too so uh we just like to have fun with the bears though and, and say that we want to crush them so i just want to uh, close out and saying everyone thank you for joining our show today please follow breakout plays on twitter uh here's his website breakoutplays.com check him out please follow him on twitter and uh, breakout plays can you show us your twitter account again just so we can see your chat your uh, your twitter handle it's breakout plays one yeah so uh Oh, there you are. Yep. Yeah. Breakout plays one, guys. If you want to follow me, give me a follow on Twitter. I post content uh, weekly on a Sunday. I put out Love a few it. charts. That, um, oh, nice. You know, I, I like to call them second tier plays, which don't make my main list. I sent out to the members on a weekly basis. But, you know, these are still good plays. Um, I try and put content out through the day when I'm in the market. So, yeah, guys, give me a follow. And uh, thank you in advance. And thank you for having me on today, yeah. Great. Thank you so much, everyone. We appreciate you joining us and myself and Breakout Plays because we love momentum plays and we love uh, trading the similar kind of price action. Because remember, it doesn't matter what we think, okay? It's matter what you see. Trade what you see. You could be a bull and it's all of a sudden going the wrong way. You have to, you know, you have to adjust, adapt to market conditions. So don't have a bias, even though you may want to be in love with something. You know what they say? Don't marry the stock. Just date them and Love them and leave them, date them and then break up. So uh, Breakout Plays and I uh, will do some future shows together. So stay tuned. We have some other future content uh, that we're looking to do together. So thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you guys have a wonderful end of your weekend. And we'll see you tomorrow in the markets. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.